Uh, we'd like to welcome everybody to Death Strain High School for today's very special occasion of this. Once again, it seems like we're doing this very, very often, but a national signing day. Uh, my name is George McGovern. I'm one of the athletic directors here at Death Strain, along with Coach Paul Wagesback and uh, Coach Jasper Vernette. Um, once again, very special for these young men and women um, to further their career. When I first got into this profession and I wanted to get into the athletic side of it, I was once told that um, athletics is the front porch of your house and that your front porch is what people see as the first impression of what you're going to sell, what you're going to do. And for us, it's all about what Destrahan High School is all about. And it's a huge testament to these uh, young men and women up here for what they've accomplished, what they're going to be able to do, and making sure that our front porch is one of the best in the state that other schools are now striving to be. So big round of applause uh, for these young men and women. <clears throat> So just to put it in perspective, and Mr. Monitor is going to go a little bit further into this, and you can see some of the graphics that are scrolling through here. But since COVID, we've been fortunate enough to send more than 30 of our student athletes to the next level to further not only their academic career, but also their athletic careers. That's something we're very proud of here at Destrain High School. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Jason Monitor, our principal, to come say a few words. Good morning. Before I start, I just want to tell you when people walk in the building that are graduates of Destran High School, it, it exemplifies everything we talk about. I preach about tradition never graduates all the time, and to have parents of kids that I played with, or guy or grown, not kids no more, we old, old folks that I played with that are back, and then players that we coached that come back to see this means the world to me as a principal of Destran High School because this is what our community in Deshran is all about, being able to bring everybody back together for things like this. With that said, once again, good morning to our school board members, our central office personnel, Deshran staff, athletes, parents, families, teammates, and friends. I want to welcome you, like Coach McGovern did, to the 2024 spring signing. Once again, I'm excited to be able to host this event like this for our athletes and families, but I'm really more excited about the opportunities these people have in front of them. As Coach said, we have a group now of nine athletes that are baseball, football, and volleyball, which brings this, this year's total to 14 students, which we know we have more coming in the spring. Parents, this is where I always like to start. I want to first thank you for your constant support and countless hours that you have spent on the road, in the stadium, everywhere your child is going to watch them pursue their dream of playing at the next level. And even more, helping them further their education, which will lead to many, many more opportunities in their future. Thank you for guiding them through these tough days and cheering them on through their accomplishments. Coaches, thank you for your countless hours you put in, your guidance, your mentorship, and your ability to see the big picture in student athletes. Thank you for being committed to our student athletes and understanding the importance of building character through athletics while representing the fighting Wildcat tradition and the logo that each of them wore across their chest. Athletes, thank you for the things you have done for our, your teammates and selfishly for Destrahan High School. Your hard work, commitment, and perseverance has brought you to this table today. All we want as parents, coaches, teachers, and administrators is for you to be successful in all aspects in life and to have opportunities in the future. Along with all these, those surrounding you, you have created this opportunity that should not be taken lightly. Dedicate yourself to your sport that you love, the courses that you will be taking, and the goals you have set for yourself. Remember, the future is in your hands. Learn from every situation you encounter. Never let anyone outwork you. Eliminate excuses. Let me say that again. Eliminate excuses, and most importantly, understand you control the path of your future and your success. So take advantage of it and make all of us proud as you move on to represent your family, yourself, and Destrian High School. Athletes, as you sign the letters of intent, let us take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey that has brought you to this point. Today is not just about accomplishments of the present, but the promise and future that awaits you. Remember, each of you are carrying on a tradition 
that will never graduate. You are another fighting wildcat that has left the mark on Destrian High School, and students like you is what makes Destrian High School a special place. Best wishes, wishes to all of you, and good luck. All right, this time we're going to have a, each of their coaches, a representative from each of their sports, come up, say a few words, and then we'll get into what we're actually all here for today and introduce the, or actually let the signees introduce themselves and then sign their paperwork. So uh, on behalf of football, Coach Tim Taffy. Hi, good morning. <clears throat> I would like to thank all the media members, district personnel, family members, DHS administration, and most of all, members of the 2023 football team. Anytime we achieve individual success, we must remember how many people contributed to that success, and we can never forget the people who have been there from the beginning. So, young men, make sure you thank your parents, your recreational football coaches, teachers, and your teammates because you're expected to go out into this world and represent fighting Wildcats all over the country the right way. <clears throat> In closing, the season didn't end the way we wanted it to end, but take a second to reflect on what this senior class has accomplished. Overall record in four years is 47 wins and four losses with one regular season loss. Their first game as ninth graders versus St. Paul's during the pandemic year. Four consecutive district titles, playoff history in four years, one quarterfinal, two semifinals, and one state title. We love you and appreciate all of your contributions and sacrifices that you have made to Destrehan High School as a whole, and specifically Destrehan High School football. Thank you very much from all of the coaches and Coach Marcus Scott. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Coach Miranda Kelly with volleyball. Thank you everyone for joining us today uh, for joining us today for this wonderful celebration and congratulations to all the athletes that are signing today. But I'm here to share um, some stuff about Kyra. When I first met Kyra, she was a sophomore. He was very quiet, but eager to learn. Today she is a leader and it has been an honor to watch her become the young woman that she is today. Kyra has been selected to the All-District First Team multiple times and has been an LVCA Player Showcase participant. She is the definition of a student athlete, being successful in both the classroom and the court. The younger Fighting Wildcats will look up to her. She even volunteered with the rec teams to build a foundation with the future DS, DHS students. Her kindness did not stop at the gym doors. She is a Wildcat mentor and would often reach out to new students to make them feel welcomed. She is the embodiment of the Roar's expectations and she will be missed. Kyra, you will always be a fighting lady cat and you are welcome back at any time. Congratulations. Now I'd like to welcome up Coach Chris Meir with baseball. I'm here to specifically talk about Brady Meir, but first, uh, congratulations to all of our student athletes. Understand that the mission is not accomplished, but really just starting, and that uh, the door doesn't always stay open very long, so make sure you get in and slam it behind you and take advantage of the opportunities, like Mr. Mader said. Uh, in talking about Brady, senior shortstop for us, um, he's now uh, prior to the start of this year, he's played 80 varsity baseball games, uh, which is, again, pretty impressive um, for a guy that has that much experience and hasn't started his senior season yet. Um, he's impacted, he impacts the game in multiple ways, high energy guy. Um, but most importantly, he impacts his team and the people around him. He loves to help others. He's the winner of our Extra Mile Club, um, who, he, that means he goes above and beyond uh, what's expected of him. Um, a lot of the, the little things that doesn't necessarily result in a win or a loss, but helps the team get better and helps the program. 
Uh, he's always one of the first guys to do that. And he's also the winner, multiple time winner of our Dirt Bag Award, which means that he goes all out uh, at practice and during the games and, and plays very hard. Um, obviously, I've known him his whole life since he was a little kid. I've always enjoyed watching him play, and uh, I look forward to continuing to watch him as he moves on to the next level. Congratulations. All right, so what we're going to do at this time, pass the microphone over to our honorary guest here today who we're here for. <laughs> intent of signing their letters of intent. So they can introduce themselves, and then you can pass it down the line. So Brady, there you go. I'm Brady. I'm Brady Mayer. Um, first, I'd like to start off by thanking my parents for all the time and money that they spent on me. <laughs> um, also, a big shout out to all my coaches, Coach Nier, Coach Zach, Coach Paz, and Coach Donnie for believing in me. Um, also, a big thanks to Coach Gibson, Coach Adams, um, for giving me the chance to move on to Bellhaven. And uh, with that being said, I'll be continuing my athletic and academic career to Bellhaven University. My name is Benjamin Bowman. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to give all the glory uh, to God. Uh, without him, without him, none of this is possible. Secondly, I'd like to thank all my coaches who push me every single day in all of my sports. Coach Pantheon, Coach Scott, Coach Ron Miller, you all push me, you all mold me into the man I am today. And I thank you all for that. I'd like to thank my family. Um, I'd like to thank my dad for uh, leading me to this point in life. Um, I love him. I love all my family. And I'd like to thank you all. Because it is people like you who support each and every single one of us. And you all drive us to do what we do day in and day out. So thank you all. And with that being said, I will continue my academic and athletic career at St. Mary College. Uh, my name is Sasha Rowe. I would like to thank God, my family, and the uh, whole football program for uh, helping me get to where I am indeed. And I will continue my athletic and academic career at Texas College University. Good morning, my name is Cole Scott. First, I'd like to thank God and my family for this amazing opportunity to say I'm committed to Texas College and blessed to continue my academic and athletic career path. All glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Eugene Smith, and first of all, I'd like to thank God because without, without him, none of this possible. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank my family for always pushing me hard, keeping me going, and my coaches for also believing me and letting me perform on the field. And that being said, I'll be continuing my athletic and academic career at John Mellon University. So many young know Smith, and I want to thank God for making this possible. And I'd like to thank my parents and my two office alumni coaches, and Coach Scott, for believing me every day and driving me to the best. And I'll be continuing my athletic career at John Mellon University. I would like to say, I would like to thank my coaches first. Without Coach B, Coach Taff, and Coach Scott pushing me every day, this wouldn't be possible for me to pick the college I want to go to. I would like to thank my family for never giving up on me. We work, we like to work hard on everything we do, everything we set our minds to. We would like to chase our dreams. I just want to look up to my family and just say, I did it, you know. <laughs> I just want to make my people proud, that's all I want to say. And with that being said, I'll be, I'll be continuing my athletic and my academics with Pell River Community College. Good morning, my name is Arrington Adams. I just want to thank God, my family, and all my football coaches, and all my teammates. And I'm grateful for this opportunity to, to further my education and continue playing football. I'll be continuing my athletic and academic career at Nicholas State University. Good morning, y'all. My name is Kyra Morton. 
First off, I want to say thank you to God for putting me in this predicament and being able to play at the next level. Thank you to my family, especially my mom, for always bringing me to the hour practices and the training sessions. Mm -hmm. And my dad following his footsteps, going to the college he went to. And to my brother, shout out to all American in the family. <laughs> and to my coaches and the teammates that I have, thank you for making me the leader I am. And with that being said, I will be continuing my athletic and academic career at Nicholas State University. Congratulations. All right, student athletes, at this time, if you want to open your letters of intent, sign your name on that dotted line. Let's make things official. Being on the sign to Bellhaven relieves a lot. Uh, still got to work hard. Um, that doesn't mean that I just don't stop working. Got to keep grinding. Um, but I'm ready to go to Bellhaven and keep working. You know, it's a dream come true. Uh, as an athlete, we, we dream of this day for years. You know, babies up until now. So uh, it's definitely a blessing. Though this is a, you know, a nice time to you know, reflect on what we've done, what we've accomplished. Now we understand that we have another level that we need to conquer. I really like the coaches a lot, and I like the plan that he has. I feel like that, that's the right place for me. I don't feel like it's too big of a college, and I feel like I can go there and help them win. Specifically Coach Dawson, he's the head coach over there. He's a really great guy. Uh, I've got to meet him. He's, he's awesome. I love the coaches there. It's, it's really just the coaches there, the way they treat us like family. Uh, so I definitely want to be a part of somewhere where I feel as if I can fit in with them. Transitioning in the college, I feel like it's definitely going to be a lot more on my shoulders. Um, leaving the team is definitely hard, people I've been playing with my whole life, but um, I'm ready to go play with them at the next level. So. My teammates know, they know I absolutely love them. My coaches know I love them, they love me. So it's a mutual feeling. Um, I don't look at it as a goodbye, I look at it as we're all kind of, you know, like so long, I'll see you later. You know, we're kind of just all taking that next step together, and I think that's really awesome when you have a group of young men. We were so well bonded, like yesterday in football, to just all be going into the next step of life. You know, even though we're going to be a part of different places, different countries, different states, uh, you know, for me, I'm going to Paris this summer. It's going to be a whole lot of different things that we're all, we're all going to uh, do different things, and it's just a blessing. I love those guys, you know. All those hard days, you know, it all, it all paid off. So I absolutely love those guys. Like, they're my brothers, you know. People don't understand that discipline is really, you know, it's everything. And Dexterhan football will install that into you. you know, it'll be ingrained in your, in your brain, you know? Like discipline, discipline, discipline. That's one thing I will always take from Dexterhan High School, Dexterhan football, is that you have to be a cop. Wake up on time, do the right thing, do it at the right time, be respectful. You know, and that's not everywhere. You know? So I'm extremely blessed to you know, have come to Dexterhan High School. Uh, I'm just, it's just, it's like a place, it's a place like no other. It's a really great school with great administration, great football program, and it, it turned boys into the It's been a dream just to be able to say that I've made it to the next level. Um, being able to play college is what I would think most people's dreams are. Um, it's, it's, it's just like a different feeling, you know? Um, you get through high school, you do all this work, and then you get to college, obviously I haven't got there yet, but um, I, I have this really good feeling about it. You have to kind of set a standard for yourself on how hard you're willing to work. It didn't work just 10% hard. 
you know, and that's just this is where you start. You can always go further than what you actually believe you can. So if I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna go work out today, uh, I'm gonna do this certain amount of weight, you know, maybe do an extra couple reps, do an extra set, you know, stuff like that that can just push you. You're on the field, don't, you know, when you're hitting sprints, you know, don't jog, sprint them all the way. It's just things like that, you gotta always work harder. And that's not just on the field or in your in your sport, it's in the classroom. You have to, you have to be willing to work hard at it because let's face it, everybody's gonna be working hard. So you have to work harder than them to, to get in this kind of position put in the work, uh, yeah, you have all the offers, but that doesn't mean a better one can come. The work you put in is going to lead to your success, so um, whether that's on the field, in the classroom, helping your community, um, I feel like it all all comes to one. It's definitely challenging if you have to go home, you lay your tired, you don't want to go home, but you remember, like, I have, I have goals. Um, you can't achieve them slacking off. So, though no, it was definitely a struggle, you definitely get the hang of it at Dashbahan. It never really catches you because once you get that whole discipline and accountability underneath your character, it's, it's kind of like it's just automatic. You're gonna you're gonna work hard in and out of the class. I would love to shout out my dad. He's been he's been my coach since I've ever first started. Uh, uh, coach Mir, he he's watching my whole way and getting through high school. I wouldn't have been that done without him. So yeah. I just want to say that my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has brought me to this position, and I will give him all the glory and honor for everything that I accomplished in life, because it is through him that I am able to do so.